Thunder storms currently moving over the Cape and the Karoo as a strong cut of low weather system affects South Africa. We still have another warning in place overnight into Tuesday, so let's get out of the rain and look at your forecast. <laughs> Let's jump right into our synoptic analysis showing that a late autumn cut of low moving in from the west coast and throughout Tuesday will slowly move over the southwestern areas of South Africa. Those rain bands stretching over the central parts of the country turning clockwise around the low pressure system with the tail of the cut of low that will bring another spell of showers for parts of Namakwaland as well as the northern and the western Cape. The weather service warning against severe thunderstorms which could lead to large amounts of hail and disruptive rainfall over the eastern areas of the northern Cape and the Free State and disruptive rainfall also likely over parts of the eastern Cape with high seas expected between Pittsburgh Bay and Port Alfred. We've got a very complicated rainfall probability map. Let's try and dissect it. We have that rain band with showers and thunderstorms underneath stretching over the central parts of South Africa. They're coming widespread over the bordering areas of the Northern Cape, Eastern Cape, as well as the Free State. And then, as mentioned, the tail of the cut of low, known as the scorpion tail, will bring more scattered showers over parts of Namakwaland, as well as the coastal areas of the Northern Cape, with morning drizzle along the eastern escarpment. Winds will turn northerly along the west coast on a Tuesday, becoming partly cloudy. A few more isolated showers likely over the coastal areas and the adjacent interior, but scattered showers the morning expected over Amanas. Most of the rain bands remaining offshore. That band of showers and thunderstorms stretching all the way from the Cape provinces over parts of the Karoo as well as Plettenberg Bay moving in an eastwards direction, later moving over Nelson Mandela Bay. We're hoping they get lots of rain, especially on a Tuesday with northeasterly winds blowing between Port St. John's and East London and that band will move over the eastern as well as the northern areas of the eastern Cape throughout Tuesday. That's why we've got that level 2 yellow warning in place for the likelihood of disruptive rainfall. It's a mainly sunny day for Kozili Natal, 26 degrees in Peter Marisburg, but cloudy at first with morning drizzle likely over Newcastle as well as the eastern escarpment and parts of the low felt. It's a quite a cool in the low felt as well as the high felt of Mpumalanga temperatures only in the lower 20s. Mostly cloudy at first with morning drizzle along the eastern escarpment. Later mainly sunny and becoming windy in the bush felt with that same northerly wind blowing fresh on a Tuesday in northwest and a band of showers and thunderstorms moving in from the west. The Northern Cape, that band of showers and thunderstorms stretching over the eastern areas where we've got a level 2 yellow warning and then the tail of the cut of low, the scorpion tail, will bring more showers and thunderstorms for Alexander Bay, Springbok as well as parts of Namakwaland. And then that band of showers stretching from the Northern Cape over large parts of the Free State, over the central and western areas, we've got a level 2 yellow warning in place as well as over Bloemfontein with a northerly wind picking up. It's also going to be windy and halting. 23 in Pretoria with very isolated evening thunderstorms likely to reach Halting. Overnight into Wednesday, those bands of showers and thunderstorms stretching eastwards over Halting, Pumalanga and KwaZulu Natal. On Thursday, a few more isolated storms likely over KwaZulu Natal in the low felt, otherwise clearing up and mainly skies across South Africa. Still quite chilly, temperatures in the mid to upper teens and light rain possible in Cape Town. Well, that's all from me and remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.